Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian. Late last month, General André Lenata, former chief of the French Air Force, became NATO's eighth Supreme Allied Commander, Transformation, succeeding General Denis Mercier, who retired. Based in Norfolk, Virginia, Lenata is now the senior-most NATO officer on American soil and serves as the Alliance's top innovation and concept development officer, as well as a key interface with the U.S. military. Lenata, like his predecessors, will continue to make the case for NATO in the United States, the Alliance's most powerful member. Lenata's tenure starts as the Alliance launches its largest and most ambitious exercise since the end of the Cold War. Trident Juncture 2018 is a three-phase operation that began in August and will span through the end of November. Hosted by Norway, it involves more than 50,000 troops, 250 aircraft and 65 ships from all 29 NATO nations as well as Sweden and Finland. It simulates an Article 5 defense of the alliance's northern flank. Lanada is a member of one of the most prominent French Corsican military families and his father, Vincent, was also chief of the French Air Force in the early 1990s. We visited Lanada in Norfolk this week for his first interview since taking his new post. He comes to the job amid rising threats, rising budgets, but also rising transatlantic tensions and changing technologies. I asked him about his priorities for his tenure. General uh, André Lanada, former chief of the French Air Force, who is the brand new uh, Supreme Allied Commander uh, Transformation. Sir, congratulations. Uh, you, you entered the job last month in the middle of a hurricane, and your schedule has been like a hurricane ever since. Yeah, this schedule has been a little bit uh, dis disrupted by this uh, hurricane, but now I, I, I am uh, in place and uh, fully involved in this new uh, assignment at the, the head of uh, Allied Command Transformation, uh, which is, uh, as you know, responsible for the warfare development. Uh, he, he is a warfare development command supporting our operation and uh, mainly uh, Allied Command for, for operations. Um, I can maybe explain you what does mean uh, what means uh, warfare development. It means prepare forces for the future, especially not only on a long-term process, but but also capabilities, uh, today's capabilities. Um, I, I also wanted to point out to our audience that this is uh, your very first interview since taking the job, so we're honored to be uh, having this conversation. And also, you come from uh, one of France's most distinguished uh, uh, Corsican French uh, military families. Your father was chief of the French Air Force, uh, and I remember uh, being at a briefing with him uh, as, as well, Vincent Lanada. So uh, exactly. it's, it's, it's an honor to meet both Lanadas. You are uh, very well informed. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you very much, sir. Um, so let's let's talk. It's a fascinating and challenging time for the alliance. Um, you know, there uh, there's good news in that there's you know rising budgets. Uh, on the other hand, there are some transatlantic tensions that that everybody is is coping with. Uh, we're in the midst of the largest NATO exercise, Trident Juncture, uh, since the Cold War, which is going to test uh, all kinds of capabilities, all the way from conventional military capabilities to cyber. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that as well. But talk to us about the priorities that you're bringing uh, to the command. Each one of the ACT chiefs has, has had, and every military commander has their priorities. Talk to us a little bit about what you're trying to achieve in your tenure here in the United States. Yeah, um, Allied Command Transformation is a warfare development command. So our main uh, task, uh, as it has been decided uh, during the last summit, uh, is to concentrate ACT uh, on the warfare development. It means prepare capabilities for tomorrow, deals with innovations, find new ways uh, to face the context you mentioned, not only the operational one, but also the technological one, uh, to find new solutions to help in a concrete way uh, our capabilities on the, on the, on the field. So wh when you, you ask me what, what are my priorities, first of all, adapt this command to what has been decided in the last summit. Uh, and what, what, what is this priority? This is capability development innovation. One of the focuses you have is um, disruptive technologies. Um, several friends, as I was preparing for this, is you, know, you have to ask the general about, about that. Talk to us a little bit about the disruptive technologies that the Alliance has to be prepared to be, you know, that, that should be regarded as threats. And then what are the opportunities for disruptive technologies to advance alliance capabilities? 
Uh, you, you talked a few, few, few seconds ago about this stratagenture exercise. Um, we use stratagenture exercise not only as a way to train at the highest level our forces, but also to test new solutions, uh, and, and especially in that area of destructive technology. I will give you two examples. The first one is related to data science. We need, in the crisis we, 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 we could face, uh, we, we need to have a better assessment of, of our informational environment. It, it is the reason why we, we will test your Trident Juncture, uh, a new tool to help the strategic level and the commanders to better assess, to faster assess, uh, to broader assess this invo informational environment. And you know uh, that uh, this uh, informational war is very important. Uh, for, uh, for uh, everybody as far as the information uh, is uh, spread uh, on, on many directions, especially uh, uh, through the social uh, networks. Uh, a second uh, example is autonomous system to sustain logistic, for example. We, we will test an enhanced logistic uh, base with the support of, the, of Norway and the industrial uh, sector to help our, our soldiers on a concrete way on the, on the field. It means autonomous uh, vehicles, autonomous sensor for force protection, but mm -hmm. also for logistics, which, uh, which could be a tool. That, that, it, it means that uh, disruptive technology uh, do not deal only on data science. Uh, we, we, we have this uh, main area of data science, but also other area like logistic. Uh, and it is uh, very important to mention some, uh, some, some concrete way to deal with uh, disruptive technologies. For, uh, uh, what are some other um, experimentation goals uh, that you have? Uh, because obviously on the information, and, and that's important also from an information war standpoint. I mean, we've seen Russia interfering in a lot of countries in terms of disinformation campaigns. So that's kind of a key tool to be able to spot some of these campaigns and to be able to counter them. Where else do you see opportunities for closer alliance cooperation? Is it, for example, on artificial intelligence? Uh, you know, what are some other areas where you feel the alliance has to do a better job in sort of advancing capabilities? I, I think cyber, Cy Cy cyber, of course. We, uh, in this, uh, as we use information as the key element for our operations, we manage, uh, a huge amount of information to to uh, to be more efficient on the on on the field. We need also to pro protect our systems. So cyber is very important, and uh, and, and you know that uh, of course uh, uh, very well. It is the reason why the the, uh, the alliance take took decisions uh, about uh, to, to reinforce the, the cyber posture of the alliance with the, the, this creation of a, um, a cy cyber operation uh, center. Uh, uh, and, and also to, to rely deeper on the capabilities bring by the nations to support uh, alliance uh, operations. So, so, so it is a, a concrete example on, on the way we, uh, we, we proceed to, 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 to reinforce the, our posture on new technologies. Uh, there, there are others. I, I, I gave you examples about uh, the, what we are trying to do during this uh, Titan Juncture example. Why, why we, are, uh, we are proceeding that way? Because uh, we are convinced that the innovation today uh, is coming from the field on a bottom-up uh, approach. It is the reason why uh, we, we, we need uh, such platforms uh, as Trident Juncture to experiment uh, our innovations uh, process. We could fail, uh, but it is less costly than to fail at the end. Uh, and so it is, uh, it, it is the reason why we, we, we proceed like that. You know, everybody has good ideas, but what's the mechanism you've established to be able to filter the best ideas uh, and make sure that you're picking the right ones, the most meaningful ideas from all the ideas, because I mean, soldiers and sailors and airmen in the field always have lots of ideas, but not all of them are the best ideas. So how do you make sure you're picking the right ideas? We, we, we are not sure at the beginning. Uh, as, as I said, the, I, I am convinced that we need uh, to uh, develop our uh, capabilities from the bottom. So we accept to fail, uh, but the, the, the principle is we will test uh, all different uh, ways and in, 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 in this test we will find new solutions, we are, we, we, we are sure. Uh, how do we do, uh, are we proceeding? We, we networked 
many stakeholders, uh, not only traditional industries, but also, uh, uh, I mean, different traditional industries, mm -hmm. uh, all, all the industrial uh, sector, but also searchers and, and, and so on, to find, to find these new solutions, because I'm convinced that, that many solutions are already existing. Uh, sometimes we don't know where they, right. and, and, and we need to find them by networking uh, all, the, all, all the stakeholders. Um, let me ask you about Russia's Vostok exercise, and I don't want to directly to comment on it, but Russia was testing a vast uh, amount of capability. Um, they claimed the exercise was bigger than most NATO officials it said it was a little bit smaller. But as a professional military officer, as, as a former chief of the French Air Force and as the ACT commander, what were some capabilities that you saw the Russians demonstrate that makes you think, you know, here are some other new focus areas for us as an alliance to improve our capabilities. You know, understanding that Trident Juncture is, is just an Article 5 exercise, it's not aimed at Russia specifically as a threat. But, you know, what are, what are some things that you saw the Russians do? How did you assess what they did? And how will that shape you think the alliance agenda going forward in terms of capability demonstration? For, for, for me, it shows that we need to be prepared. Uh, we, we need to be prepared to any scenarios, and as you mentioned, uh, the, the, the Article 5 exercise we, we proceed uh, today with Stratton Genture uh, shows that we, we prepare. We prepare our forces to any kind of scenarios, uh, even the uh, highest level one. Uh, it is uh, the, the meaning of this uh, Trident Juncture uh, exercise. And, uh, and, and that, that, that's the first, uh, the first point. The second point, uh, of course, we, we already identified the, the critical area where, where, where we need to, to, to continue to improve our capabilities. I mentioned some of them, uh, uh, like, uh, like cyber. But also, for, for, the, for an alliance like uh, NATO, the more important is to be able to work together together with 29 nations. Uh, in the case of Trend and Juncture, we will be 31 with two partners. And, and, and so for, for me, the, the, the main element is to maintain this ability to work together at uh, 21, 21 plus if needed uh, nations. And, and we do that and we train to, 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 to do that during exercises like, exercise like Trident Juncture. You know, as, as the capabilities development heart of the alliance in many respects, you're also sort of the industrial uh, programmatics and capabilities linkage. The NATO Industry Forum is coming up in Berlin next month. Uh, that's a very, very important event uh, on your calendar. What do you want to see from the industries that serve the alliance? You know, what are some of the hard problems you want industry to get engaged in to try to help you solve? First of all, uh, I, I want to mention that uh, industry is part of our uh, operational capabilities. Uh, we, we prove it in, on, on the past, we, we, we will continue like that. We need the industry, they are part of our uh, capabilities. Uh, the second point I would like to mention is that uh, uh, we, we are at the right technological level. The question is how do we find new solutions to face the, the issues we, 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 we will face I, I, in the future. It is the reason why, as I explained, we need to create this network with the, with the industry, not only the traditional one, because we need solutions which, which are already available in other sectors, for example, logistics or data science, uh, and to find with them the best way and the, the quick, the faster way to implement this, uh, these solutions into our forces. It is the meaning of this, uh, this uh, event in, uh, in Berlin uh, in, uh, in two weeks. It is a very important uh, uh, event for us because uh, we will have main CEOs and uh, new, uh, new partners, new, new industrial par partners, and we will see with them how we can do uh, better to implement those solutions, which are, I, I repeat, already available in our forces, in our forces faster and uh, in a better way. Do, do you think that, um, it's just a question that popped in my head, I mean, it, the good news is that NATO countries are spending more money. Uh, one of the challenges is always to get countries to focus on sort of the most important priorities for the alliance from an alliance standpoint. You and all NATO commanders play a role in that. If you were advising countries, what would be some of the clearest and most important priorities to make sure that the whole 
Uh, you know, is it a greater focus on interoperability, for, for example? Uh, is it better cyber protection? You know, we've seen this recent report where the United States, which spends more money than anybody else on defense, has enormous vulnerabilities because the passwords weren't as good as they should be. What do you think should be some foundational principles that people should bear in the back of their mind as they start to invest more money? First of all, um, uh, I would say, yeah, the good news is we, we will spend more money. So that's the point. But um, we need also to spend the money in an efficient way. It, it is the reason why, for me, with our industrial par partners, the main goal is to deliver quicker and better. Uh, and we need to find new ways, especially in this uh, data area, to deliver, uh, to deliver quicker because uh, the technology is running very fast. That, that's, uh, that's the first point. Uh, regarding uh, operational priorities, I, I, I see two, two different uh, targets. The first one is to keep the edge of the alliance, to be at the highest level possible. It is the reason why we, we, uh, we do not ignore any, uh, any technological uh, branch to explore. That's the, 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 the one. The, the other one is maybe to reinforce the consistency of our forces. Readiness, responsiveness, uh, the way to reinforce, logistic. Uh, it is a concrete way to, to be more efficient on the field. And also not, inc not ignore the basics, right? Because we exactly. were talking before we got started. Uh, we, 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 you, you, you talked about the basics. When, I, when I'm talking about logistics, it is, it, it is part of the basics. And last question. So you, you have a, an incredible distinction of being the son of a French uh, air chief, a renowned French air chief, and you do come from uh, one of the most prominent uh, uh, Corsican French military families. What was that uh, experience like? Uh, as I used to say, uh, I... Uh, I give to my, uh, to my career my own uh, own way without taking uh, into account uh, my, 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 my father. And the, the, the other thing is, uh, uh, of course, it, it is now a family heritage. And uh, as we used to say in, in France, uh, dogs do, do not make cats. Uh, <laughs> maybe you, you have the answer there. <laughs> Very, so there was no chance you were going to be joining the Navy. Exactly. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, but I, I like sailors too. But <laughs> exactly. Um, um, General André Lanada, the former chief of the French Air Force and now the new Supreme Allied Command, uh, Commander Transformation. Sir, thanks very much for taking time. All the best of luck. Best of luck with Trident Juncture and we look to talk to you again soon uh, to get an after action report. Thank you very much. Thank you to, to visit us in Norfolk. We are, we are very honored. Thank you, sir.